Behind me is Montagna Rocca, or Red Mountain, in Playa Blanca in Lanzarote. Um, it uh, looks quite daunting from here, but it's only uh, 200 metres and the path up is not very steep, so it's easily manageable. Uh, it's a nice warm day, a bit of a, a breeze coming from the southwest today, um, so it uh, should be cool. It's also quite clear. Uh, beautiful views to Fuerteventura just from here. So when we get to the top, um, I'll be able to show you those. Well, this is where we're starting our walk at the top of the Los Alicios development. And in the distance, you can see across the water to Fuerteventura. Um, as I say, once we get to the top, there'll be amazing views. So today I'm climbing the mountain from the west. Uh, it's my preferred route. Most people will climb it from the other side. Um, it's a bit steeper from the other side, but it's a, it's a short ascent. Uh, this, you can see the path goes um, from here, it goes east and then generally a north and northeasterly direction. So you're actually going round the mountain and then going back up uh, to the summit. From here, in the distance, right by the sea, you can just see the abandoned hotel. Um, it was started to be built some years ago. Don't know if it didn't have permission, probably not. And it's been lying empty ever since. Looks more like a scene from uh, the middle of Berlin rather than in the south of Lanzarote. And as we carry on northwards by the side of the mountain and just get over this ridge, uh, then fantastic views towards the mountains.
So from here you've got the fantastic views of the Playa Blanca. Uh, you can see the, the harbour, the ferries going to Fuerteventura in the distance. And all looking over the town towards Marina Rubicon, Papageo beaches, right over the town towards the mountains and towards Femes in the distance. And from here the path goes all the way around the crater so you can go clockwise or anti-clockwise far end is the summit point, the highest point, and you can just see how massive this crater is. Well, it's not quite, quite as clear as when we set off. So the views to Fuerteventura, although still amazing, uh, aren't as clear as I'd hoped. And the other thing you've got to be wary of up here is the sudden gust of wind, uh, which not only can blow your cap off, fortunately I took mine off and put it in my rucksack, but it can also blow you over if you're not careful. I'm just taking the path down into the crater all the way along and up the other side you can see in the crater you'll probably just make out where people write their names or messages to loved ones in stone Also along here it's interesting looking at the rock formations 
all the different layers of rock. So here I am, centre of the crater. You probably just uh, see now how massive it is. 360 degree view. Well, there's a storm forecast for uh, later on, maybe this evening or uh, tomorrow morning. And it's looking a bit grim in the distance over there. So time to wait, make my way back. Home in time for tea. Or maybe a nice cold beer. So I've walked up to the top of the mountain, done a clockwise circular, walked down to the middle of the crater and up the other side, done another half circuit back to the path that we came up and now I'm descending the same way that I came up. So um, that's about it really. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If ever you're in Playa Blanca or in Lanzarote anywhere. If you like a bit of a walk, then this is a great one to do. It's only a couple of hours, easily manageable, sensible footwear, sun cream, sun hat, water, and watch out for the winds.